We want to get now to some breaking news that has just into us. We mentioned it at the very top of the show. A jury now getting to a verdict in the most high-profile trial yet related to the January 6th attack on the Capitol. Literally 20 seconds ago, I was told we know what the verdict is. I don't myself know. We know that the charges were seditious conspiracy for these five members of the Oath Keepers, a far-right militia. Let me bring in immediately here Ken Delaney. And Ken, guilty or not guilty, what is the jury deciding? Well, Hallie, we only have a partial verdict right now, but we've learned that Stuart Rhodes, the head of the Oath Keepers, has been found guilty of seditious conspiracy wow. as the verdict is continuing to come in. And that's really Let the just, most important question. Yeah. And let's explain why that is so significant here. So Stuart Rhodes, the sort of self-styled leader, leader of the Oath Keepers, this far-right militia group, seditious conspiracy is the most serious charge, Ken, that we have seen against any of the you know, insurrectionists who were at the Capitol that day. Um, this is a, again, we don't know, and I think you're right to be cautious here, we don't know what the other four verdicts are or what the other verdicts are for the other four individuals. But even this alone, Ken, has to represent, I would imagine, a huge win for the government here, for the DOJ. Oh, enormous, Hallie. The stakes were really high here. The Justice Department had not successfully convicted anyone of the charge of seditious conspiracy in 17 years. This was a difficult charge to prove, and some thought it was uh, a mistake to bring it, but the Justice Department has won this conviction in the case of Stuart Rhodes. There are other charges against each of the defendants, and, and we'll, we'll let you know as they come in. But this is the big kahuna, because this charge alone carries a, a maximum of 20-year prison sentence. And, and what it says is that Rhodes is convicted of trying to impede the lawful authority of the government by force. And it, this was about, essentially, his uh, coordinating this effort uh, to bring guns into the Washington, D.C. area. Some of them were stored uh, a, a, in Virginia in hotel rooms in what Rhodes called the Quick Reaction Force and dispatch members of this Oath Keeper militia That's to true. the Capitol. Now, Rhodes said he took the stand during the trial and he testified that there was no plan to enter the Capitol and that he thought it was a bad idea that they entered the Capitol. But then there was other evidence contradicting that, including a tape recording of Rhodes saying that the only mistake of these Oath Keeper militia members that did enter the Capitol was that they didn't bring rifles. There was also right. evidence that some of them were hunting for House Speaker Nancy Pelosi <laughs> during their stint through the Capitol. So what differentiated th this group from some of the other people who have been convicted of criminal charges is that they entered the Capitol in military formation. They had they, they con conducted planning. Uh, they, they had weapons not with them at the Capitol, but on hand. And um, Ro Rhodes, it was very clear, Rhodes wanted Donald Trump to invoke the Insurrection Act so the Oath Keepers could then become what they thought would be a lawful militia to help Trump stay in power. That was the heart of the government's case, and they have won uh, at least the most important conviction, Allie. Let me explain to people, just in the interest of pulling back the curtain here, as we so often do, Ken, and Julia Ainsley, one of our colleagues here who also covers DOJ, is with us here on set. Um, right now, we've got a team in the courtroom. Literally, these verdicts are being read out live as we are on the air here, right, at a courtroom that's not too far from where we're sitting here in Washington. As you are talking, so that is why sort of we, we know the Stuart Rhodes verdict. As you were talking, Ken, and I'm sure you're looking at your phone and your email here, we just found yes. out that three other defendants here, Kenneth Harrelson, Jessica Watkins, Thomas Caldwell, again, three members of the Oath Keepers, you see three of them on screen, have been found not guilty of seditious conspiracy. Okay, again, the most serious charge that they had been facing. Help us understand the significance, why that is. And, and, and how, uh, uh, another email telling us that another defendant, Kelly Meggs, was found guilty of seditious conspiracy. Okay, so, so why would Meggs and Rhodes guilty? be found guilty? Yeah, explain right. that. Why, the, why are the two of them now found, why did a jury find the two of them guilty on this really serious charge here, but not the other three? It, it was a matter of whether the prosecution met its burden in terms of showing that all of these people conspired and that their motive was to overthrow the government or impede the lawful authority of the government. Now, Jessica Watkins, for example, took the stand and portrayed herself as somebody who was made a mistake and, and had a lot That's of right. regret for what she did. That was very different from Stuart Rhodes' uh, position on the stand. And she may have helped herself in front of that jury. Um, and, you know, at the, at the end of the day, the, there were differing levels of evidence for each of these defendants. And so that may explain the mixed verdict, Hallie. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.